gentlemen and children, welcome to the Brockton Symphony Orchestra. Please help me to welcome Brian Drukas, the president of the Brockton Rotary Club. Brian? Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Brian Drukas. I am the president of Brockton Rotary here in Brockton. This year is the 100th birthday of the Worldwide Rotary Foundation. There is a Rotary Club practically in every city in the world. Rotary uh, awards student scholarships, helps, fund, helps feed those in need. We also fund worthwhile projects in the city. Rotarians worldwide have been working to eradicate polio. This season, the Rotary and Brockton Symphony celebrate their collaboration over the years. Please join the singing of Happy Birthday to Rotary as I conduct the symphony. Please help me welcome our beloved conductor of our holiday pops, conducting this concert for his 10th year, Dr. Emilian Badea. <laughs> and also welcome the conductor, I'm sorry, the director of our middle school, South Middle School Chorus, You've already heard, and their amazing director, Kate M. Higgins. Welcome.
Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. That's wonderful. Since it's so quiet, I might as well tell you a couple of words. So I would like to welcome you again for the 50th time to this uh, concert. And we feel really honored and blessed that you decided to join us in the celebration of this year's holiday concert. There is holiday for everybody. Somebody may celebrate religious holidays, some other people, secular holidays, but there is everybody in the month of December who actually thinks about gathering the families together and enjoying all the good things that life can offer each of us. So I see some children in here also. They look a year older. And all the adults look a year younger, actually. I know that. Absolutely. Oh, perfect. Yes, that's good. So uh, we are going to offer you our gift because in the month of December, everyone tries to give a gift to somebody else who they love mostly. And we appreciate your presence. So our gift for this concert is all the good music that we are going to perform for you with our hearts. So please enjoy the rest of the program.
about it. One of the one of the most beautiful moments of music that you'll ever hear in your life is the Adagio from Spartacus by Aram Hachaturian. And in the ballet, you can actually visualize if you go to see the ballet and hear this fantastic music which very well suggests the deep love between Spartacus and his wife Phrygia, despite of all the bad happenings. So if you would eventually close your eyes and hold hands with those that you love, your families, and just enjoy the beauty of this music.
A special thank you from the symphony to our lead sponsor, Harbor One Bank. Jennifer White, Vice President of Community and Public Relations, sends along her message about this year's guest conductors. Harbor One is thrilled to partner with the Brockton Symphony Orchestra and the Guest Conductor Program because it enables us to highlight another wonderful institution and partner serving the Brockton community. Harbor One has selected Trinity Catholic Academy because we share and embrace their vision of providing access to high quality education and enrichment opportunities for all our local youth. We are proud to welcome the very talented and dedicated music teacher and choir director, Bethany Conway from Trinity Catholic Academy and her eighth grade student, Fortuna Decimus. Thank you so much for having us today and thank you to the Brockton Symphony Orchestra for allowing Trinity Catholic Academy to be a part of this wonderful celebration. Um, I just want to tell you a little bit about Fortuna, our 8th grade student, my 8th grade student. Um, she's a leader at our school, she's a part of our choir, liturgical choir, band, marching band, girls basketball team, and is an honor roll student. So, without further ado, this is Fortuna Dacia. Thank you so much.
the second half of our program, we know we are going to enjoy it. After we're all finished, there is a reception in the cafeteria. You can meet the musicians, our soloists, and our special guests. In the meantime, I'd like to introduce the chairman of the board of the Brockton Symphony Orchestra, who has a special announcement to make with our concert guru, Emilian. This is Torben Hansen, chairman of the Brockton Symphony. Thank you, Harry. Thank you very much. What a terrific crowd today. Everybody having a good time? Yeah. Outstanding. Outstanding. Um, I just wanted to briefly say that, um, you know, these concerts don't automatically, magically come together and present them for you. It takes a lot of hard work. And I do want to recognize one person that particularly, uh, his creativity has really made these concerts so special for all of us. And that is, Emilian, Dr. Emilian Dedea, our conductor. <laughs> He's been giving uh, the gift of music to us, uh, for which you believe this is our 10th concert. So for 10 years, he's been doing these, and every year they get better and better. <laughs> so it is with our deepest appreciation that I present to Dr. Padilla this plaque in recognition of his 10 years of leadership to the Brockton Symphony Orchestra. <laughs>
Programs, do you know what's the next song? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! One of the most beautiful songs composed by Leonard Cohen, who was first of all a great poet. Later on, he was trying to express through music, in other words, to dress with music his poetry. And the Hallelujah song is very special to us also because. One month ago, he passed away, and we decided to pay a tribute in his honor for his contribution to world literature and world music. Last year, when I taught a course at UMass Boston, in my class, there were two young ladies, both phenomenal singers. And I'm the lucky one to go to school, of course, to discover somebody who sings beautifully. So the very first um, song, the Hallelujah, will be performed by Lia Atanasova, who's a young lady from Bulgaria. She studies currently at Berkeley College. And all I can tell you about her that at age of three, her grandfather discovered her talent, actually. And she, he said that she's going to be a singer. And that's the reality, so please, Join all the power you have in your arms to welcoming Lia Atanasova.
I just had a good idea. Give you the chance to sing this song. How many times in your life you have again the chance to sing it? We are going to sing the strophes, the stanzas, and you sing the refrain, okay? Let's go. I have to hear your voice, okay?
One, two, thank you very much. Next, we are going to perform a beautiful uh, composition by the English light music composer, Albert Catelvi. And instead of having a piano, as it was originally composed, uh, later on, the composer actually set the part, the solo part, for xylophone. And we have the most handsome young xylophone player in Boston. Thank you very much.
another fun piece. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. And very good acting also. Thank you, thank you. As I was telling you, last year in my class at Humans Boston, I discovered two young singers. One of them you already saw and you appreciated very much. And the second singer we have tonight is Olive Marie, who already sang twice with Boston Pops, with Keith Lockhart, with Wynton Marsalis, and many other famous people. So we are lucky to have the privilege to listen to Olive Marie in the next two songs. Please join me again. All the power you have out of your soul. And welcome, Olive Marie. Oh! 
Next, we are performing a composition that is important for me also. It's called Perpetuum Mobile, or per Perpetual Motion. And as the days and weeks and months and years are keep coming, in a perpetual uh, movement, I find it appropriate to perform it tonight as our life starts to begin again on January 1st. So, before we part, we'll have this perpetual motion by Johann Strauss, and then we'll perform the traditional Radetzky march. Before we leave again, I would like to wish everybody, in the name of the Brockton Symphony family, Brockton Symphony organization, go happily, safely through the holidays, and find the new year embracing <coughs> you in peace. It's the most important thing and good health to you and your families and to those who you love. Happy New Year to everybody. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and Happy Kwanzaa to those who celebrate. Thank you very much for coming.
forgot one of the most important moments in, in this concert. You know how tired I am now moving my hands for my hands for two hours here, so I always need help. And there is one special, very special person in the audience. My dearest grandson, Basil Badea. Please welcome Basil. He's going to help me. much. Please have a safe journey home. Outside starts rain, uh, snowing, a lot of wind, already blew out my hair. <laughs> so go safely into the new year, please, okay? Enjoy it with your family and friends, and let there be peace on the earth. That's the only thing that matters. Health and peace. Be well, please, and happy.